With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let me explain this question. A particle starts from rest and accelerates constantly with 2 meter per second square for 10 seconds and then retard uniformly with the same rate till it comes to rest. Draw xt, vt and et graph. Okay, so acceleration of particle is given initially for 10 seconds. For t equals to 0 to t equals to 10 seconds, particle acceleration is 2 meter per second square and for next 10 second means between 10 and 20 seconds acceleration of particle is minus 2 meter per second square and we have to draw position versus time graph and velocity versus time graph and acceleration versus time graph okay so we have to draw position versus time graph. Okay. So first of all we have to calculate distance cover of particle in 10 seconds. So x equals to ut plus half a d square, initial velocity is 0, half e into t square, acceleration is 2, time is 10 seconds. So this is equals to 100 meter. So first 100 meter it will accelerate and the next 100 meter it will retard. So graph of this should be curve because it is accelerated motion it will be parabola so it is like first it is accelerated motion so increasing velocity and then it is retarded motion then decreasing velocity like this at this point this point time is 10 second and displacement of particle is 100 meter at this point time is 20 second and displacement of particle is 200 meter so this is this uh, position versus time graph next is velocity versus time graph now we are going to draw velocity versus time graph since this is constant acceleration motion. So according to equation V equals to U plus AT, our graph should be straight line. Okay. So after 10 seconds, velocity of particle will be equals to 2 into 10, 20 meter per second. So, velocity increases linearly and then it decreases linearly to zero with the same rate this is t equals to zero this is t equals to 10 second and this is 10 equals t equals to 20 second and at t equals to 10 second velocity is maximum which is 20 meter per second so this is velocity versus time graph now we have to draw acceleration versus time graph since acceleration of particle is given constant for 0 to 10 second it is plus 2 and for 10 to 20 second it is minus 2 so initially for 0 to 10 second acceleration is constant and 2 meter per second square and for next 10 second it is minus 2 meter per second square so this is plus 2 meter per second square and this is minus 2 meter per second square and here t equals to 10 second and this is t equals to 20 second so these are the answers i hope you have understood the explanation thank you for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.